of a meeting, uh, 11. Spotify announced laying off 17% of the company. How I found out was... You say that I never unload dishwasher, then that's me doing it right now. Your feet on camera. Good morning, everyone. I just changed into my work from home fit. It's usually like hoodies and sweatpants, but anyways, I'm gonna quickly clean up because that's like the first thing I do. I cannot work in a messy apartment. It also helps me focus better. By the way, if you know me, you know like I'm the biggest Oatly fan for the longest time. But I recently just switched to Califia Oat Milk. This is so much better because it's like really thick. Try it, go to your Whole Foods, get it. Let me know how you feel, but it's like now my favorite thing. Mm. Good. I have a meeting at 11 talking about the growth performance in Brazil. To keep myself productive, I learned to divide my day out into three chunks. A morning chunk, afternoon chunk, and evening chunk. In each chunk, I only focus on one task and it allows me to dial deep into my thoughts. To diagnose growth performance, I'm looking at our growth metrics via a dashboard on the top screen. And on the bottom screen, since I'm the one leading the call, I'm extracting insights and discussion points based on the dashboard for us to do in the call later. I will always have an agenda attached to the meeting so that all the stakeholders can see what I'm presenting and what we're going to talk about today. By doing this, then people will add their own agenda point. Before we even start discussing, I can kind of mentally prep what the meeting is going to be like, kind of getting like a temperature check. So the agenda today is I'll go through the mission control and then look at the Brazil performance. Then I do want to spend a few minutes at the end to discuss um, whether we should share this information more widely to the team. So yeah, any other agenda points that you want to bring up before I get started? Actually, do you mind if we take a look at that together? Since we're talking about it right now. Yeah, 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 perfect. Okay. Yeah, you can share the screen. So after I finished my morning block of work, usually I would feel like I need to hop on a different task, but no, I am creating breaks and buffers for my brain to context switch. I got all these boxes so I can mix my nuts. I've tried to put only healthy snacks here. So we have, this is one of my favorite these days. This one is from Trader Joe's, it's pretty good actually. Unsalted mixed nuts from Costco. I have a rule for what break means. Break means not looking at the screen, not using my brain, and just being physical, doing things with my hands. It really helps my brain unwind a little bit and slow down so that when I have to work in the afternoon and the evening again, I have the energy and the mental headspace to do that. Now I have my nut mix. This is my Pilates Fit. This whole set is from a Taiwanese brand. This whole set is under like 50 or 60 dollars, which is so cheap. And the quality is so good because it's like super buttery and super soft. Quality is unbeatable and it looks so good. Also, if you use my code, you can get 5% off site wide. It's freezing outside. I believe it's like negative two degrees today. But I still go to my Pilates. It's one of my favorite newfound hobbies. A 
lot of people think Pilates is just stretching, but it's definitely not. It's more like working on your micro muscles, a lot of sculpting, strength training, lots of balancing, and it's also helped me a lot with my posture. This is Albert's seashore table. He works at this desk. This bistro table is really small, but LG sent me this portable monitor and this laptop. It's so light. It's like a notebook almost. And sometimes I sit here, I sit at the coffee table there, or I sit at my desk, but I just like to change things up because I feel like it kind of refreshes my brain and my thoughts a lot better. For the late afternoon chunk, I am working on my online course. Even though it's launched, there are still a few reviews that I need to do for every chapter. One of the best things I've learned from my team is how structured they are. They created this video feedback form for me, and they organize it by tabs, so like by each chapter, here, what I'm doing is going to the link for the video, I'll review the edits that they have done, and then I will drop my feedback here. And whenever we have edits, it's just one consolidated link, and that allows the whole project to be organized, and we are all on the same page in terms of what to do. Having structure and streamlining the way of working is definitely something I will take. It's so cool to see what I'm building with my course team can be beneficial to my day-to-day -day job at Spotify. You can do so by dragging it to make sure the middle red line is showing. Select the other boxes, then go to Arrange, Distribute. Arrange, Align, and It's currently Wednesday and the past two days has been crazy. Spotify announced uh, laying off 17% of the company, which is around 1,500 or 1,700 people and that's a lot. So they announced it two days ago on Monday morning. And how I found out was I was in bed, I woke up, one of you guys commented on my videos asking me, hey, are you okay from the Spotify news? And I was like, what Spotify news? So I looked, up, looked it up on Google and I just see a bunch of headlines. Obviously, the next thing I did was going to my work email. I saw an email from Daniel Ek, the CEO, about the layoff update. And then I also saw another email from the head of HR saying that if you have been impacted, you'll get a calendar invite with an HR today or tomorrow to discuss you know, the departure. Obviously, the next thing I did was clicking into my Google Calendar and see if I have that invite. Um, and thankfully, I don't have it. I'm safe. My team is safe. My manager also reached out to me on Slack, ensuring that, you know, hey Lillian, you know, I just got the message that our team is safe. I'm here for you if you need to talk. So yeah, it's just been really crazy past two days and it felt so random. I didn't even know, my manager didn't know, it just really came as a shock, especially given it's a holiday season and Wrapped just launched. This is the third layoff at Spotify this year. Uh, this one is by far the biggest one, so it was pretty scary. It's definitely not an individual performance issue. It, at the end of the day, the company is a business and they obviously need to optimize on the cost and making sure they're making profit. And you can all read that on the news and on the articles. But yeah, when the moment it came out, my dad also called me. My family apparently saw all the news in Taiwan as well. There are a lot of good friends of mine who have got impacted and just seeing them go like this, it was a little bit weird. Based on my conversation with my coworkers, I think we've come to a realization that having a job at a great company doesn't mean, oh, you're set, like, or you're secured, or you're, you're safe. The only way to take control of your own destiny is if you have something of your own. Obviously, work for a company that can provide you the financial stability, but at the same time, reinvest everything that you've learned for yourself and on your own thing, on your own project, on your own business, or on your own dream. Another thing I've learned from this is that your company is not your identity. Obviously, I talk about my work at Spotify out here, but at the end of the day, I also know that there's Lillian without all these titles, without all these, 
you know, following all these numbers, stats, like, so I think it's important to also set boundaries to know that like, okay, I work for this company, but that company doesn't define me and my work doesn't define me. It's just simply something that I do. Yesterday on Tuesday, I went to the office just to kind of get out of the apartment and talk to people. It was very silent. It was very sad almost. A lot of people who got impacted weren't even able to go in the office like so obviously it felt extra empty i know that everyone will be okay every spotify i have met from my past four years of working here has been some of the smartest people i've ever ever met in my life and that's one of the biggest reasons i've stayed for so long because at the end of the day what i realized is it's the people that can really make you stay at a company and even during this whole layoff news it's still so encouraging to see Spotify is helping each other out and saying encouraging words, being there for each other. I'm fortunate enough to have this platform and if you're an ex-Spotify who's been impacted or if you also have been impacted uh, by a layoff, my platform is here. You can reach me on my IG DM, message me on LinkedIn. I would love to see how I can help. Um, if you have any ideas or any initiatives that I can help support you with, uh, let me know and yeah. Hi, how are you? It's been a weird, yeah, past two days. But uh, how are you feeling? Yeah. So these days I have been into interior design and like redecorating my apartment. So I really want to make this area like a little working desk situation. And the current chairs I have from my old apartment, it's way too low. And I also want to brighten this space up because this couch is gray and this chair currently is dark blue. It's like this color so it fits all together. If you know me, you know I love to build furniture i just love it's like putting puzzles together for me which is so fun let's see if i can do this one myself it's like a fun challenge okay this is assembly instruction it doesn't look too bad oh where's i work again he works a lot it's currently 9 30 already so i'm just out here building my own furniture your feet on camera Well, my legs are so sore from berries, like... Oh, my hamstring. Oh. Okay, let's see. What do we think? Okay, what do we think? I still need to do this bottom part, but I kind of like it. And they'll send you out a replacement if you'll like that replacement or if you just want a full refund. Okay. And I'm going to send you an email with all of this as well. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you so much. You're welcome and thank you for calling Wayfair. Good night. Thanks, you too. Bye. Uh, what they say? They said they emailed the manufacturer, but we can probably get a refund or a replacement, whichever option we prefer. But we'll have to wait for the email. See, the holes do not match up. There's no way I could screw these in. It's okay. It happens. But by the way, I got this like really cute mood light from Amazon. It's only like 60 bucks or something. And I think it really brightens up this little area I have. Um, all right, next to my agenda was I know on Friday we took that simple little workshop with you, James, and I think you should work with him as well. So our team Sorry. went through his room. What is up with you on your snap? Tell people what you did to me just now. You were putting trays and plates away while moving. Like, it's great. I love that you do this, but this is the worst possible time that you could have done this. To be fair, I was helping out, okay? You say that I never unload the dishwasher, then that's me doing it right now. And you don't, but you pick a time when I'm actually in a sneaky oh. role in a meeting. Okay, then you so go, I was, you... I was snapping at you to, to stop, which I think you understood. That event stop. Don't go in the room, we have a dash there. 
Yeah, but like, I like my bistro table, you know? It's a nice table. Uh, what? Man, I can eat right now. I don't eat breakfast. Anyway, I am currently eating my... What is this called? Seafood? What? Like... I'm currently eating my seafood pasta. This is so good. It's like my favorite thing to make now. I'll show you guys how I make it in my next video because I eat this almost every day. One drink I've been obsessed with is poppy. Um, it's like sparkly. It tastes like soda, except it's not a soda. It has... Prebiotics, it's good for gut health. The best thing is it only has five grams of sugar. By the way, I have no makeup right now, and one of the things I've changed my diet is to lower and reduce my sugar intake. The moment I started doing that, within a week, my uh, chin acne just like cleared up. So that's something I'm really conscious of when I read the renutrition label. This one is my second favorite flavor. They also have one that's the strawberry lemonade. That's my best one, but I'm unfortunately out. So. I got the new iPhone. This one? Yeah. The Titanic? Yeah. Wow. Because you know, I got the phone stolen at Easy. Is that the Spotify phone? No. Oh, I mean. Okay. 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 <laughs> what do you actually talk about in your therapy sessions? Learning how to be present. And my therapy was like, depression is when you get stuck on the past, anxiety is when you get stuck in the future. But the easiest way to let everything disappear is when you're focused on this very moment. We practice a lot on just like feeling the present moment. Not even thinking about it, because thinking you're using your brain, but just like feeling it. I love that. Yeah. I think it's a lot of like training your mind to think a certain way that's yeah. different from how you can Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I feel like for us, like we're so used to like planning ahead and thinking ahead and like doing things to chase a goal, but then when we do that, it's hard to realize like, wait, I, I'm eating great right now. I'm like eating bread. Like this cheese is really good, you know? You have 10 seconds left. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> it's like two hours. Oh, we're here. <laughs> go. My living room. Just got this couch the other day. <laughs> oh, wait, you want to show us around? I'll film you. No. Okay. Welcome to my apartment. So I just moved in and I want to show you guys around. <laughs> I got this couch, I really like this beige color, you know? And I usually just lay here and watch TV. <laughs> and then and I like caviar and ship my, yeah. sip my champagne. Then, yeah, that's my whole life. Really big. <laughs> so I actually have like multiple living rooms. So depending on what my mood feels like for the day. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm feeling, I don't know, animalistic. <laughs> I can't do it. Hi, draw. Okay, this is a cloud coach that I really wanted. But it's $10,000. <laughs> is it comfy? 